So I just want to say a big congratulations to those of you that have been asked to move to the next step for micro one recruitment process. So you just have to record uh, your hand movements. So some of the tasks you can record is maybe this clustering a uh, table. So a table that is scattered, you can arrange it. You can actually do sorting. You can make your bed. Anything you can do recording your hands. You don't have to get your camera head strap right now for this stage since you're not yet shortlisted for the actual work. So someone can record this, make sure the person is not visible and the person is on a position that can comfortably capture your hand while you do that task. It can take for just two to three minutes since it's just the trial task. And if you've not been shortlisted yet, there's still hope, they still need more people. You may most likely get your mail telling you to move to the next stage. In this video today, I want to share with you guys two opportunities. But before then, there's a quick update I want to show you guys. Calcare is recruiting for audio annotator and they need someone that speaks Hausa. So I think within this channel, there are lots of people that speak Hausa and are into annotation and you will be very fit for this role. So just maybe do a little tweak um, with, on your CV and ap apply for this role I'm showing you right now. So the first website I want to review today is OneFormer. And I think I've mentioned OneFormer before on this channel, but right now they're shortlisting for a role that's recently opened up and they need a lot of people from different locations. And you know, I always try to look for jobs that I are universally so a lot of people can apply from my YouTube community. I'm not going to walk you through how to create your own former account. It's pretty much very easy and there's no difficulty in the old steps. So I'm just going to go to the home page of one former now and review these rules that I want you guys to apply for. So this is the home page. Just go ahead and click on jobs if you I've uh, created your one from our account already. I'll go ahead and first of all sign up for one from my account. Now, after this, you know, you click on jobs. Now, the role I want to show you guys is in if you just come down to the LLM, which is large language model. If you click on this, you're going to see the Atlas content creator, which is different from your um, Atlas um, capture work you're doing. So, this is the Atlas content creator, and it pays around $15 to $30 per hour depending on the location, which is very good. And there are different countries that are vacant and recently opened just generally um, 12. So before now, some persons I know have worked on the um, the Rita position with Atlas and that one pays a little bit less. And they had some, they had a lot of shortage of tax like recently. I don't even know if they've started having tax, but this is the content creator role and it's just recently opened. And you can see if you're from Azerbaijan, um, if you're from Philippines, if you're from Kazakhstan, Nepal, India, Pakistan, you see different countries. We have Kenya, Malaya, Malaysia, India, New Zealand. And all these were recently opened just a couple of days ago. So you can go through these places, these rules. Um, unfortunately, some of these countries, I don't know if they are going to be available right now because some of them were open since October. So these were just the ones that were opened, you know, a um, few days ago, I just showed you guys, but you can go ahead and check this. Like for Nigeria, there's the Eagle rule, but it was open since October or August. And I don't think they will need people right now for that, but you can still go ahead and try it. So this is the Eagle rule. You see it was open since August, it paid $20 per hour. So there are just so a lot of countries that this position is recruiting for. And like I showed you, some of them just opened up recently. Now you can also go ahead and try your luck with the grading um, Atlas role. So if I click on the grading, you can see the Atlas um, content creator English Canada. It pays a little bit less. It pays less than the um, content creator role. Since you can see twelve dollar per hour, seven I think some look at three point five for India. So just go ahead and try out the content creator since that one even pays more and it was just recently opened. Also, when you set up your one from account, you can always go through these different job categories and look for jobs that you're fit for. Now, the last role I want to share with you guys is XAI. You might have heard of XAI before and yes, I have also applied for XAI and I've been unsuccessful with my application, but that was about a year ago. And the reason is that XAI has a more rigorous um, shortlisting process because of this. You know, most big tech companies like Facebook, you know, XAI and the rest, when they want to do like their onboarding for human data trainers, they use a third party company, data and data company like, you know, MindRift, Lionbridge, you know, Scale AI and the rest. When the case of XAI, you know, Elon Musk has enough, a lot of money, so they don't want to use a third party, they do it 
within themselves. Unlike the cases where big tech companies outsource this thing to data companies and they can underpay you. XAI pays very well, like 30, 60, 70 dollar per hour. So it's like the highest paying, you know, um, annotator um, platform to work on since it's a direct recruitment. But at the same time, with it, it, it comes with its own downsides, which is difficult in getting in. So XAI, if you want to apply for this role, I'm going to show you now, it should be you are an expert in that thing you are, like you're applying for. You should have good solid knowledge about it. You should not just be a regular annotator sometime undergraduate. No, this one, I'm telling you, if you're not qualified enough, you will not get it. And again, if you can get a job with XAI, every other like data companies, if they see your CV, if they see your profile, even on LinkedIn, you get so much respect and you can easily get into other jobs. So I've seen a lot of them after working with um, XAI, they become project lead and, you know, um, QA specialist with these other um, websites or annotator, annotation companies. So this is why you want to take this application very serious. Give it your all. So if we come to the career page of XAI, go ahead and click on the view open roles. So click on this and when we click on this, it's going to take us to this place. We want to scroll down till we find the human um, looking for something. Yeah, human data. So go ahead and click on human data. And on that, yeah, this is where you see the kind of roles I want you guys to apply for. And now again, if you're qualified for any of this role and you fit these locations right here, go ahead and apply. But I'm more concerned about universal roles that everybody can apply for. So you can see there are lots of global roles here from here, from the finance tutor down, down to the um, writing specialist. Now, this is an actively recruiting role right now but the requirement is very tough. So it's not something anyone can randomly apply for. You have to take your time while submitting any of these applications. So I just submitted application for the multi, uh, multilingual tutor. So if I go ahead and click on the multi, uh, multilingual tutor, so you see the job description for this. So you can see the application process is not all that complex. And you see how much they're paying here, 45 to $75 per hour. Like I said, XI really pays very well. So if you go on LinkedIn and you see people that work with them, they usually have very solid background and this is what they expect from you. So you can go ahead and just fill your name, email. It's very easy. Try and um, attach a cover letter. But my first application I did with them, I didn't attach a cover letter and it still went through. So that may not be a very strict requirement and what country do you plan to work from everything here is actually basic but the what you need to know about xai is that initially when we did make initially when i did my application with xai they did pass me through a lot of testing fees but currently with what i've seen from the reviewing their website i think they've cancelled some of the test fees and it's more like after the first initial test is going to go straight to interview that's what i'm seeing on the dashboard i don't know if it's still if it's what they are going to follow so i'm hoping that someone watches this video tries this application and gets shortlisted and drop the review like in a few weeks to come or maybe a month to come so thanks guys for watching and see you in another video